Hi, Planning with Alo here. I am so glad that you decided to be here with me today. Um, so I decided to do an overview of my 2019 planner lineup. Yes, these are all of the planners that I use. No, I do not use them all at once. No, I do not use them all every day, except for one of these. And just don't get overwhelmed. I know that it might seem like a lot, but once I explain how I function, with them i feel like it'll make sense so not all of them are planners by the way i do have two journals in here but it is part of like my routine and my mental brain dump kind of functionality if if you would say but yeah let's just go ahead and get started so first i have my everyday carries and that would be my wallet which is the little pocket lv and my personal Jillio. So I'm not gonna do like um, detailed flip of every single one. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview. But like I've mentioned before, this little guy is my wallet. So I carry my credit cards, my debit cards. I carry a few coins. Sometimes I have cash in here. This is where I carry like my membership cards or my appointment cards to any doctors and such. But yeah, I love this little thing and I always carry it with me everywhere I go. And then of course I have my personal planner, which is basically my brain in a planner. So this one is like my main B. <laughs> um, I will not be able to function without this. I love her. As you can see, I do have quite a bit of stuff in here. And these sections in here are my calendar section which has my monthly my yearly view and all of that and then that's what I'm showing here at the front the second one is my personal section my finances section is the third I have notes and lists and then my last one is my contacts and um, password section so everything that I could possibly need on my daily in my daily life is all in here. I have my weeklies and everything in here. So this is where I do my main planning. Moving on to the second part of this are my stay at home planners, which are these two texturized beauties. this cloth and paper one i got a while back and this is my social media planner so this is where all of my youtube calendar dates or pre-planning dates go into i have my instagram section in here i have fashion and wardrobe ideas in here um it kind of functions like a brain dump because i just have a bunch of lists everywhere and then it also has the last section, which is like my career slash professional um, section, um, just for like ideas and things like that. This one stays at home at all times. It's very rare that I carry it with me, but I have done that before. And then this one I actually found at a thrift store, and this is my finance planner. So I love that it had the zip arounds and it's not just one pocket that zips around. It's two of them and you'll see how I use them in a minute. But yeah, it has that front slot and in the first zipper is where I have my entire setup. So this is a planner where <clears throat> I basically jot down all of our finances and also all of the home logins that maybe my boyfriend might need at some point which is why this planner stays at home so that he can also reference it and then this is where I also keep all of our cash envelopes for like bigger expenses which I will show later and then it also has card slots in the back and that is where I keep my credit cards I do not like to carry like my main credit cards with me so that I can stick to my budget and then in this back zipper pocket there's two slots in there and I use this for either cash or receipts. I feel like this planner is very convenient for times like when I go to the bank and have to make big cash deposits. I just take it with me. 
so here I'm just showing you a little bit of what's inside of it since it is our finances I didn't want to show a lot but yeah here are the envelopes and then last but not least are my journals these are my two journals so I do not use these on a daily basis. I would probably say I reference these maybe once a week or twice a month. So you guys have seen videos of my journal entries that I do in this little guy right here. So here I'm just kind of flipping roughly through them. This is just my creative spills. This is where I let my creativeness out and i'm loving it so far i'm thinking of getting a second one for the rest of the year because this one's already so chunky and then this other journal is like the newest addition to my lineup this is a mindful hookup cover and inside i have a i forgot the brand but if i can find it and link it down below it'll be there if you're interested i purchased the notebook at target a couple of weeks back and i'm actually using this for tracking of my tarot reads um and just kind of like brain dumping a lot of my thoughts like after meditation or things like that and it's just simple blank and lined paper but yeah, that's what I'm using this guy for. And that is pretty much it. So here I'm just going to show you all of them together. Oh, and I did like an overview at the end, I guess. So all of them, as you can see, are personal size. The only A5 size is the last journal that I showed. And then, of course, my pocket size wallet but since that one does not have inserts i guess it doesn't qualify as a planner but these are all my babies i love each and every single one of them equally but i will definitely have to say that like i said this is my main b like i would not be able to function without this so yeah this concludes today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and share, of course. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.